Today we're going to be talking about embalming a brain after an autopsy when it's gone gelatinous. Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And today's question is about uh, embalming the brain after an autopsy. Mm -hmm. So when the brain has been removed by the pathologist, not Tracy, mm -hmm. uh, and placed in the viscera bag yep. with the rest of the viscera and you yep. get the body in and you have to wash all that and prep it and then embalm the whole lot for whatever reason, what struggles do you have with embalming the brain? And this is a question from Michelle. It so is. Thank you, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Um, okay, so the brain has been removed, so we've had a head post also, so autopsy and a head post, so that means they've examined the stuff. So what happens when the um, pathologist removes the brain, they will take biopsies from the brain. They're obviously removing that for a reason, mm -hmm. and they need to take biopsies, and the brain is actually dissected. Okay, so it's in pieces. It's not in a hole like you imagine it is. It's actually sliced. Um, on a machine uh, so they can actually get slithers, files, what they call, they put them on tapes, which is basically a piece of glass where they'll send it to the pathologist and they'll have a look at that under a microscope and see what they need to do. So the brain is actually dissected into really small pieces and I'm talking these pieces and that brain is then put in the bag with all the other organs in the viscera bag. So it's bag. basically mixed up in all so of everything. So it's mixed up, yeah. Can I just say, we've yes. talked about embalming and viscera bags and all that before. Yeah. Uh, I'll point to the video up there. We always get lots of people asking lots of questions about why do you remove the organs. Tracy does not remove the organs. Just say that again. Please don't send us questions about Tracy <laughs> removing the organs because no. she doesn't do it. No. Okay? No. <laughs> right. The organs are being, being removed by the pathologist yes. at an autopsy. They're already removed and they're already in a bag. All I'm doing is taking that bag out once we open the body up because I need to get them organs out to embalm embalm the body but in the meantime what I do I've got a container set aside and it has embalming chemical in that container but I've got to clean this so basically I've got a big kind of it's like like a colander and I will be placing um, the organs into the colander and I'll be dissecting the organs even smaller because uh, some of the organs are quite large and then I've got to clean the intestines out and get all the poops out because it doesn't embalm. So you've got to get rid of all of that in, down the toilet where it'll get tread in the sewage. Um, so that goes down the toilet. Um, so yes, so I've, the brain is in tiny pieces. So as I'm going through the viscera and rinsing and cleaning, I'll pick I'll see just pieces of brain and yes, it's quite jelly. And when you actually touch it, even very, and I'm talking, this is how which you need light. to touch it. That's light, isn't it? Mm. It will just squish. Right. Okay. It's really so delicate. So it's got the consistency of actual, like, say, jelly. Since you pick it up and hold it, it'll just mush. In front. Right. Okay. Yeah. So the, they're already in tiny bits. Isn't it amazing that it's, something that goes to jelly like that can think for us? I know. I always find it oh fascinating. Oh, my gosh. This is a fascinating part about when I embalm a body and I open up the visa, viscera is that I always find the brain fascinating because it's in slices and you can clearly see it's the brain it's got that you know mappy yeah, yeah. swirly looking thing and you can see the vessels through it and you know some pieces are larger than other pieces but it, it just, it's just a fascinating we're a fascinating people us humans we are amazing and that brain is the thing that functions mm. us so so it's already in tiny pieces so you're imagining probably that we've got a whole brain and it's mushy and wobbly and jelly but it's actually in pieces so all I'm doing is rinsing them um, with water clear water and then so the water doesn't them. dissolve them no no because it's I've got the water I've got like I say a big colander and it's gently yeah. pouring into yep. this colander and all I'm doing is picking out and yep. you know making sure they're small enough to put in because I've got to yep. be a certain size so they're not large and they're not so the liver not... and the lungs and everything, you chop them? Well, they're already sliced. Right, okay. So the liver sometimes comes whole, but it's already been sliced, so it's sliced open. Right. You know, yeah, if you yeah. know what I mean? But still attached at the yeah, yeah. bottom part. Yeah. So I would just have to dissect that further and dissect it right. to, to... Smaller pieces. To smaller pieces because we need the smaller pieces. And then all I do is place that into the container. So I'm dissecting some pieces. Some pieces are tiny. And you so need smaller pieces because you need the fluid to absorb. We need the fluid to absorb right. and get round every part. And we don't want one piece of uh, organ really large and hasn't been embalmed completely. So into the container, embalming chemical on, a cover over the organ, that bath with all the other uh, organs sat over and uh, on the other side of the bench. Then we embalm the body.
right? And how long does that have to be in the... That's in there until it takes how long we take So a couple of hours. Could be there three hours, And then when you get them out of the pieces, is the brain more firm? Yes, everything's firm. Everything's firmed up and everything's hardened because we put a really strong chemical in there. Mm -hmm. We put uh, not the same as we're embalming mm -hmm. the body because you're not going to see that. We just put a really harsh chemical, like mm -hmm. as in a strong one, high uh, index, um, high percentage because we just want that done. And also uh, cavity fluids used right. as well yeah. because that's the yeah. strongest embalming chemical yeah. we have. So cavity fluids used in the embalming container. So we do that. And that That's stays it. there for a few hours, two, three, four, five, six, usually six hours on an uh, autopsy case because it takes so long to do all that work. And uh, that is usually thoroughly embalmed and it comes out more feeling like a rubber mm -hmm. as opposed to soft, smishy mm -hmm. material. And, and if you're interested in knowing about embalming an autopsy case, I'll point to that up here. Yeah. So that's what we do, and uh, that's how it's done. Good so question, though, it Michelle, is a because really Tracy's good question. mentioned a few times that the brain goes gelatinous and you can't get it back in the head. No. Um, and so, that's yeah. right, it goes in the viscera as well. well. I wouldn't have imagined that it was in little pieces either. So yeah. obviously we don't see these things, but you do all the time. Yeah, so. yeah we do. Weird Thanks question. for the question. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And just a, a little heads up, we were talking, we had a live stream well, this morning when we were filming, but yeah. it won't be this morning when you're watching. And we were talking about maybe doing a few live streams on a Saturday morning, just for yeah. 10 minutes here 10, and there. 20 minutes. Um, and so if anybody's interested in us doing that, let us know in the comments. Uh, obviously, the time frames will be different wherever you are in the world, and we don't know where you are, so look it up for yourself. But we did it probably be around 8.30, 9 a.m. on a Saturday morning, only for about 10 minutes or so, yeah. Friday evening. Uh, yeah. in the Northern Hemisphere. So check yeah. that out. Let us know if that's something you'd be interested in jumping on and saying good day every now and then. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'd like, like to chat. Yeah, we do. <laughs> okay. Till next time. Take care. Bye-bye.